Right, due to the cold spell and the salt being laid on the road, air filters are absolutely clogged at the moment. If you go to the shops and you try and buy a air filter for your car, unless it's the factory default from your car manufacturer, you'll find you won't be able to get any. Uh, so, try your best, shop around, you might have to pay for a bit more of the expensive version in the motor factors just to get what you need. But this is absolutely full of salt and dust and dirt. And I haven't had this on too long. I think it's the summer I had this on. So I've had to change this already, but it was only eight pounds, 10 pounds I think, I had to pay for the more expensive version. Right, in this video today, uh, I've done the Ford, changed the filter. I've already cleaned the, uh, the little math sensor, but on the Honda, it's a bit more difficult. Uh, I'm gonna go through how to get to it, but, and I couldn't get the air filter for that Honda as well, the Honda Civic, so, what I'm going to do is take it out and vacuum it. And that's a lot easier to get to. To, to vacuum, you, can, you can't imagine vacuuming this. The pleats are too, too close together. You can't get the nozzle in there. Pointless. But anyway, let's get to it. Right. Left sensor in there on the 2.2 CDDR. So, a lot more difficult to get to. So the reason why you've got so much space inside a, a Honda is because the engine is kind of I don't know you must have done something where they kind of half shove it into the dashboard uh, so for the same length of car for some reason they, they can manage I don't know they've done some, done some Honda Japanese wizardry but not so easy to get to with your routine maintenance flip these be careful sometimes these can flip and then just fall out so you got to be careful <coughs> Like that one looks like it's going to fall out. And I think if you just wanted to change the air filter, you can just tuck it out by hand. I'll show you what I mean. So if you want to just get the air filter on you, you can watch it doing this. I can't remember if there's another clip. You can actually just move it like this. Just do that initially, just to get this air filter cleaned out, vacuumed up. Just have enough room. Just carefully you don't knock those clips flying into the they want it flying into the base of the car. These clips are not perfect. They can fall. Some cars they fall out. This one hasn't. So I'm just gonna vacuum that out. We're gonna worse than usual, much worse than usual. Of course, try and change it. If you can find one at the moment. That's probably only like five, six pounds. You can change it, change it. But I couldn't find any. There's two regions of the UK. I was to get it elsewhere. Really, it's not really easy. It's probably new. Only it's not as susceptible to um, the dirt in the filter, I must admit. Ford is very susceptible. Yeah, it's changing. Anyway. Get the uh, spot. I haven't done the uh, math sensor in a few years, so it's going to be needing to be done. One of the reasons because it's so inaccessible. Right. 
taking a negative battery to them off. Basically, I'm taking a battery out. Now I remember why this is such a an awkward job. Now battery out. So obviously you need a, a long shaft, 10 mil. <coughs> Just do undo, loosen one and then undo the other one. It's my advice. Hello, mate. Right? You all right? The rear one's going to be more difficult. Got to keep in mind where all the look below to see where it all hooks on. Give yourself an easier time. <coughs> so it hooks into there. Get my head torch on it. And uh, the other side hooks into there's a little bracket. When I remove the battery you'll see it'll be a bit easier to see where it hooks into. Just make a note of little things. Just uncoupled the cable from this battery tray. Don't know the look of that. I know it's not heat damage, it's not near any heat, but I think it could become sort of um, rodent. I'm not too happy about that. I'm just wondering if there's a strap here. This fits into, you know, I'm going to do a strap like on the Ford. Nope. So it gives me a bit more access. Some people, you might be. Yeah, your fingers may be a lot more flexible. You can get into this sort of area without having to take take this off. But I can't. Just make sure there's no more. I okay, think it can be lost down there. Nope. All right, so gently, listen. Like some sort of vacuum pipe. There it is. Now, why would it not just hinge off? Let's discover it, shall we? Ooh. I'm looking at kind of like it's been chipped away or something. Don't stand that. There's no clips at the back. I'm fumbling around for ages, there's no clips. Does that pop out? Look at that. It does. So if you were to do this, know that it's possible to get it out, but at this angle, no it cannot. Only when it's like that. So at this angle, it cannot pop out. That's why it wouldn't pop out. At this angle, yes. Okay, my prize is at the top. Alright, okay. Let's uh, spray that one down. Now we just unscrew it and bring it out. Like screws off, it should just pop out like so. Then get it dirty. So that is just absolutely caked in. Well, I'm not getting in the camera. Absolutely caked in dirt. There's quite a few resistors in there. They were absolutely covered in dirt. You don't want to get any good miles per gallon with that thing covered in dirt. So clear it every winter. That's the whole point of the video. Using this stuff at the moment. Zero residue at all. EC90. Can't remember. Three pounds a bottle or something like that from Tool Station. I don't know. I'm going to try and get you to see the difference. Hold it steady. Yeah, it's not coming off straight away. Wanting to get that dirt off it. It's better. The whole point, my hands are freezing now. That's it, really, that's the video. Thanks for watching. That is it. It's quite a few little resistors down there, don't touch them, just spray it. Don't spray it with things like WD-40 or anything like that, it's got to be electrical cleaner. 
So this is contact cleaner. Contact cleaner is normally oily. This is not. This is just like completely like ethanol based. I'm not sure. But it's absolutely fine for using on the math sensors. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe button. Do it, basically do it after winter or after a while. And this car is difficult. So you'll probably end up dragging it on not doing it like, uh, like me. Thanks for watching. Let it dry, put it back. Should be okay, there's nothing to reset. Right, you know that very rear, very rear, whatever that is, the pipe holder, the bracket holder. It's not six mil, it is seven and 32 inch. Seven out of 32 inches. So that's what that is. Tiny little things, not six, seven and thirty-two. Get show you that again. And I think forevermore I'm gonna use this tiny little super powerful magnet. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. These are awesome. Number of times I've just gone like that, pulled out slightly and things just fallen away. Fallen away into um the abyss of the bottom of the car. You know, as you, as you, you I mean look without it, it's okay, but look. Without it, it's okay. It's not bad. With it on, it's just you just got that little extra. You know, as you withdraw, always always hold that because it always falls out, and even hold this, hold it all properly. Uh, but I'm just gonna, particularly if that is larger, this little super powerful magnet is gonna really help. I will leave a link in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching. Battery next. No need to watch that. Good job.